I live with my parents. I, I've been asked to um, be in a, with a few people in a, in a shared home. I said no because it was too uh, expensive. Finance Minister Christophe Freeland's newest budget aims to appeal to young Canadians. The government is projecting $53 billion in new spending over the next five years, with higher capital gains taxes on high earners and businesses in an effort to promote generational fairness and to address the housing crisis. My wife and I work at McGill. And, and we, we are not from here, obviously, and we thought like Montreal was uh, still an affordable place in, in North America, and maybe this is the case, but uh, it's getting, you know, harder and harder to, you know, to buy, especially if you want to buy in the island. For example, like a, a triplex here, it's over 600,000. It's not normal. Like a few years ago, it was like probably like 400, 300. So if you're trying to buy or to live in general, I'd say outside of Montreal is a bit better. In an effort to help young renters and first-time home buyers, the new budget includes an investment in new programs and housing supply by converting unused government buildings into residential homes. Still, many say it's not enough. Unfortunately, I'm not a homeowner because I can't afford to be one. Mortgage rates are impossible and unattainable right now. I think especially for people with like have a lower income than us and they, they will need all the government help that they could get. Catherine Lucier, coordinator for Quebec's Popular Action Front for Urban Redevelopment, says solving the housing crisis will require investing into social housing in the public sector as well. But there is a lot of investment that is going towards the private sector uh, from the budget and not uh, where, you know, not towards the low and more vulnerable tenants specifically uh, that are actually right now at the moment have difficulties to, you know, have a decent way or a different place to live. Even though there is have been some, we are ex we would like to see more from the federal government going forward. In Montreal, Anastasia Dextrine, City News.